So let's talk a little bit about what kinds of chatbots are out there and what the uh, expectations are for how they're going to be used. There are fundamentally two different types of cat chatbots. One are called rules-based chatbots, which are fairly simple in their approach. They're very structured and do not have a lot of, of, of flexibility in how they respond to questions or what the consumer can ask. And then there are AI, artificial intelligence, or natural language processing, NLP, chatbots, which are much more uh, able to converse with the customer, to carry on a semi-human discussion within certain limits, uh, to understand what it is you're trying to get to, and give you the answer that you're looking for based on purely human language. The expectation is about 30% of the top companies are going to be using artificial intelligence type chatbots. That's important to know because AI chatbots are pretty expensive and you have to have pretty deep pockets to get into that field. They are expecting, however, a 136% growth rate of the AI chatbots. And about 58% of the companies are using chatbots right now for business to business or B2B uh, transactions. The NLP market, the natural language processing market, is projected to be 26.4 billion by one statistic, other sources recommend that it might even be over 50 billion by the year 2024. Chatbots in 2018, 78% of them were self-service chatbots. 77% were gathering information, preparing for a handoff to a human being. And 71% were agent guidance, meaning the public wasn't looking at them, but the agents that were serving the public were looking at them. And 67% of them were just greeting the customers, just saying, uh, getting them in the right mood for uh, trying to get them in touch with the person that they were trying to talk to. 28% of the top uh, performing companies in the world use bots in marketing. And 90% of consumers, that's us, actually prefer companies that answer inquiries immediately. And if you go back to the telephone inquiry where you can be sitting on the line for hours waiting for an agent to be connected, chatbots are there instantly. They can give you the information in a heartbeat and you don't have to sit around and waste the rest of your day. One of the statistics that was very interesting is that the multi-device users, meaning people using PC and a smartphone and a tablet and so on, are a lot more likely to prefer a bot as a mode of communication than a website or any other form that the customer might offer.